Still update on the condition of the roads. Rick Edwards is standing by in the traffic center. Rick, good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, we have a major closure now. Interstate 78 westbound closed at Route 100. This is due to a, a big tractor trailer crash out closer to New Smithville, uh, less than a mile from the exit. Uh, but this is the last exit before New Smithville, so everybody off at Route 100. You can see how slowly it's moving. There's a couple snow plows getting onto the ramp now uh, to clear the way for extra traffic because everybody must uh, exit the interstate here at the Fogelsville at Route 100. Westbound 78 again closed from 100 out to New Smithville because of a major crash in Weisenberg Township. We're still dealing with a disabled tractor trailer at Tillman Street and Snowdrift Road in Upper McCungee Township, and we still have problems in New Jersey. Hackettstown, you can't get through on 46 because of a downed utility pole in the roadway. Um, into Berks County, 61 at Cross Keys Roads, just, just north of 222. We had a, a reported vehicle fire. Now, they should be wrapping that up here shortly if they haven't already. And we still have a disabled tractor trailer on Route 501, just north of 78 in Bethel Township. That is well north of Frystown. Uh, they also had reports of snow plows breaking down mm -hmm, on Interstate 78 in Bethel Township and other spots uh, along uh, 78 in Berks County. So it's a slow go for sure. And uh, right here in uh, Weisenberg Township, uh, a major tractor trailer crash has the interstate closed. Westbound lanes are closed at Route 100. That's the traffic situation. Buckle up and drive safely if you have to get out there. Let's get back down to Haciel and E. All right. Thank, All right. thank you, Thank you Rick. so much, Rick. And now let's get another check of the weather. Yeah, and for that, we head over to meteorologist Matt Broderick. Hey, Matt. All right, guys. Well, clearly you can tell by Rick rolling through some of those cameras that things have gotten progressively worse over the last couple of hours. Of course, that's when the snow picked up in many areas. That's when the wind started to pick up. Now, it is a pretty brutal situation for sure. 31 Redding in the Philadelphia area, 30 degrees in the Lehigh Valley. We've been below freezing, of course, the entire time. Philly was flirting with the freezing mark for a little while, even with some rain and sleet. Even they've gone back to snow. And this is the latest look here. You can see even portions of South Jersey. Our entire area has been snow basically the whole time. A couple of sleet pellets here and there a little bit earlier, but now mainly snow. Somewhat lighter in parts of Lehigh and Berks here, but uh, there are some heavier bands here. So expect snow heavy at times right through the afternoon along with the wind picking up we will see wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles an hour you combine that with the snow and visibilities will be reduced which is why we are calling it blizzard like conditions high of 32 and then for tonight actually snow continues for a while may not end until mid or late evening now from west to east wind chills will be in the single digits we'll continue to see even after the snow stops falling we'll continue to see some of that blowing and drifting take place good news is as we move on through tomorrow, while it will be windy and cold, it will also be dry, hopefully, right through Valentine's Day for lots and lots of cleanup. All right, we're going to stay on the air, of course. Right now, we'll go back over to Eve and to Haciel. All right, that does wrap it up for the new news, though. But as Matt said, we will continue our winter coverage right after this break. Hi, I'm Gerald Beasley. And I'm Paul Scott. 69 News had you covered, telling you how much snow was going to fall and where to expect the worst. As the storm grew, the 69 News team was on the scene, providing up-to-the-minute travel conditions throughout the region. As always, 69 News Storm Center Update was your best source for the school and business cancellations you needed to know about. When dangerous weather threatens your area, turn to 69 News Storm Center Update. We've got you covered. As we just told you moments ago, the governor is shutting down Interstate 78 at this hour. Interstate 83 and part of Interstate 81 are also being closed. Interstate 81 is closed from the Maryland line to Interstate 80. The state says it's expecting to close additional roads as conditions deteriorate. Again, effective immediately, Governor Rendell is ordering all traffic off Interstate 78 and 83 and portions of Interstate 81. And let's get the latest now on roads around the region. Here is, me, uh, here is traffic reporter Rick Edwards in the traffic center. All right, thanks, Haciel. Yes, uh, we got to jump on the governor and close 78 westbound here at Route 100 a little while before the announcement because of a major tractor trailer crash uh, closer to New Smithville on the westbound side. But uh, you heard the word now. It's all traffic off the interstate. That's 78, uh, 80, and uh, 83. And we'll see how it goes with uh, 81 uh, getting from uh, Harrisburg and uh, through uh, Carbon County. Uh, but uh, right around the neighborhood, 22 is passable. 
but uh, moving very, very slowly. We're taking a look here uh, past uh, Airport Road, uh, nearly barren, as we see a freeway patrol from PennDOT hanging out here, waiting to uh, come to the assistance of any motorists. Uh, looks like maybe somebody pulled up to him uh, for a little assistance. Uh, we do have a disabled tractor trailer at Tillman Street and Dr Snowdrift Road in Upper McCungee Township causing problems this morning. But uh, other than the very slow-moving traffic, if, if there's any out there, uh, we have no reported crashes or obstructions locally around Allentown, Bethlehem, and Easton. And now, of course, uh, all traffic must stay off the interstate. This is uh, more incentive to just stay home and uh, don't do any unnecessary uh, traveling uh, today. New Jersey, 46, still closed through Hackettstown because of a downed utility pole. Lots of uh, fender benders scattered around the entire region, uh, both sides of the Delaware River. Uh, we have that... Uh, 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 vehicle fire on 61 at Cross Keys Road, just north of 222 in Antolani Township, Berks County, and a disabled tractor trailer north of 78 on 501 in Bethel Township, uh, Berks County. And again, the interstates are closed, no traffic on 78. Uh, this announcement just made by the governor will take a little while uh, to clear off uh, any traffic that may remain. We'll take a quick look here by uh, 412. You can see a few vehicles left and at the Jersey crossing. Uh, it's been barren all day here past uh, Morgan Hill Road. So stay home. Watch TV. 69 News is always on. Let's get back to Eve and Haciel. All right. Thank you, Rick. Well, we are now on hour seven of our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the massive snowstorm that has blanketed the mid-Atlantic. Let's go to WFMZ meteorologist Matt Broderick in the Weather Center. Matt, any idea of when this storm is going to end? Not soon enough, <laughs> Haciel. No, we've got a ways to go, for sure. And I'll show you that radar in a minute. And again, that's what we've been talking about the last couple of days. This is not one of those quick hitters and get out of here. This will be around all afternoon. And now it looks like perhaps most of the evening until it starts to wind down. 31 Reading, 30 in the Leah Valley. Wind is now becoming a factor as it has been over the last couple of hours. Winds, 14 Reading, 12 Leah Valley. Now just back down to 7 in Trenton, but sustained at 20 in Philadelphia, gusting to 28. So we are going to see the wind continue to pick up through the afternoon hours with the snow which will continue to be heavy at times we're going to see those visibilities that are reduced to about a half or a quarter of a mile so it is going to be nasty for a time winter storm warnings continue berksley and northampton north and southern sections from Hunter and Bucksmont, Chester, south through Philly and South Jersey. That's a blizzard warning, which continues all the way through tonight from the National Weather Service. Well, here's a satellite in the radar. Now, again, this has been a situation where this storm looks really nice here. As we see the latest look, you can see the nice counterclockwise flow storm off the coast just spilling in all of this moisture. You can see in certain areas, including central PA, of course, down to the south of us in our particular area over Jersey, there are some darker shades of blue and there have been certain locations that have really gotten hammered here at certain points when some of these heavier snow bands set up over specific areas and we've seen that certainly in parts of Berks County a little bit earlier right now portions of Berks western section Schuylkill seeing some pretty heavy snow look at this heavy snow in parts of Chester Bucks and Montgomery all heading toward the north and the west toward the Lehigh Valley and you can see there is no end in sight as this just continues to sit and spin finally the low pressure will get kicked out of here but it, I do think it's going to be at some point during the evening to around midnight. That's when the accumulating snow will start to come to an end. So we are looking at impressive amounts. We've already seen impressive amounts. Parts of Berks County, 8 to 12 inches already. Some of you guys will end up with 18 plus out of this particular system. So the storm moves away. The problem is, along with, of course, blizzard-like conditions at times this afternoon and tonight, even tomorrow, even though there'll be nothing falling from the sky, the wind will still be strong. So especially in open areas, there are still going to be areas that see that blowing and drifting of the snow. So 12 to 18 from Berks, Lehigh, Northampton East, 6 to 12 North and West, and a lot of us will end up near this foot ranges. Most areas are starting to exceed that 6 and 7 inches, except for the very northern parts of the area. So a good amount of snow as we will need to dig out after this is all done. So let's play it like this for you. 32, windy with snow, heavy at times, and that will mean blizzard conditions at certain points during the afternoon as those winds gust between 30 and 40 miles an hour. Visibilities will be reduced to a quarter or a half mile. Snow ends tonight. Windy, blowing, and drifting snow continues. Look at your low of 18. Wind chills in the single digits, which will just add to the difficulty of getting rid of the snow 
not to mention the blowing and the drifting will not make cleanup very easy. At least it will be dry Thursday through Valentine's Day, the way things look now, but it will be windy and cold. At least some sunshine at times right through those next four days. Possible snow or flurries on President's Day as well. Haciel and Eve will send things back to you. Okay, thanks, Thank you, Matt. Matt. Well, as we've been hearing all day, road conditions have been deteriorating, deteriorating all morning across the region. But people are still braving the element to head out. Our 69 News team is among the drivers you may see on the roads today. Yeah, that's right. Our fellow anchor, Wendy Davis, is on the road right now heading to Allentown uh, to report to work. Hey, Wendy. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I, I'm, I'm not doing bad, actually, but I have to tell you, within the last, oh, five or ten minutes, visibility definitely has cut down. Um, when I was coming in from the western part of the county and I was on the back secondary roads, really, it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of snow on the ground, so it was packed down so you could get traction. It wasn't slippery. Um, you couldn't go over 20 miles per hour, obviously, and there were very few cars on the road, which made it a lot easier. Um, but then as I made my way towards 222, making my way towards 78, which is where I am now, um, it definitely started, the snow started getting thicker and more cars in the road and you couldn't see as much. You can definitely see, like Matt was saying, this storm is picking up again. Wendy, have you seen any cars having any uh, problems out there this morning? Or I know you mentioned that traffic is uh, is not too bad out there right now. Right. But anybody well, you should ask, Eve, just moments ago, I was on 78. Like I said, I'm on 78 now, and I was making my way between the Cedar Crest and Lehigh Street exits heading eastbound. Um, and on the westbound side, there was a car that was completely spun out. Oh, wow. Oh. And facing in the other direction. Um, now, the PennDOT crew had already made it to them, so they were helping them at that point. But I would say heading, like, I, I'm coming east. There wasn't a lot of traffic. Heading westbound, there are quite a few tractor trailers, quite a few cars on the road, and they are traveling really, really slow. And then I saw the PennDOT plows were behind them, so that was slowing down the plowing. So, obviously, they want people to try to stay off the roads just for that reason, to try to keep those plows moving. Um, but there are, there are some tricky spots, especially Especially when you're trying to hit those, you know, the on ramps and the off ramps, you know, the, those typical spots. Yeah, so you decided not to stay at the hotel like Rob did, I guess. Right. I decided I was going to try to tough it out and go home. I don't live that, you know, further away right. than the hotel, so I right. thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a try, and I do have the four wheel drive. Oh, good. I got That's new so tires. Nice. New oh, good for you. preparing for the storm, so I'm good to go. So, so far, so good. good. And it is it is really picking up because I just noticed, like, you didn't really need your windshield wipers. That, you know, they could be on the intermittent for a while, but now I need them on constantly. And I ran into Wawa to get some coffee, of course, because I, I can tell it's going to be a, a long day ahead of me, mm -hmm. as, as you guys know. <laughs> yes. I so, um, I was just that brief time getting my coffee when I, I had to clean off my car. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I was reading on Facebook, Wendy, some people are out there shoveling, and by the time they shovel once, uh, you know, there's another inch or two, and they have to shovel again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is It is coming down at a good clip now, That that's for sure. Did you have to shovel this morning, Wendy? Probably had to shovel yourself out. Well, you know what? I do have the garage parking spot. Oh, right. So okay. that, helps. <laughs> that made it a lot easier as far as uh, getting it up and going this morning. Um, I was a little worried about getting down the driveway because it was kind of deep, and I felt like I was kind of, you know, making a plow, uh, <laughs> plowing my way down with the back of my car. But mm -hmm. luckily I was able to make it out, and that was probably the roughest uh, part of my journey so far, mm -hmm. knock on wood. So okay. You better be careful. PennDOT may try to recruit you with you're yeah. blazing a trail. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wendy, safe travels uh, into work. We will see you soon, and thanks for the update. Oh, thanks, guys. You're doing a great job. I thanks, hope you're Wendy. bringing snacks to uh, <laughs> tide you over while you're on the desk. Of course. All right. Okay, we have some waiting for you here, too. <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Wendy. I'll Thank see you, you soon. Okay. All right. All right, bye-bye. All right, it's time to get a look at the conditions in Reading once again now. Yeah, Karen Millette is on 2nd and Court Streets in downtown Reading, right outside our 69 News Burks Edition Bureau. Hey, Karen. Hey, guys. Uh, even Haciel, you know, I, I don't envy Wendy out there on the roads. And, and here's a look why. If you take a look at what's happening in downtown Reading, this is uh, Court Street. We're on the corner of Court and 2nd Street. And it's, it's actually getting narrower, Court Street is, because we haven't seen the plow here um, in quite a few hours. And the buildup on the side of the road um, is just enormous. Uh, you know, it's probably about waist deep uh, on the corner here at Court Street. And uh, they haven't touched that all morning. So, um, 
that's really not something that you're going to want to be uh, next to uh, in a car. So you really obviously do need to be careful. But we want to give you an idea of what it looked like early this morning. So you can see really how quickly in the past couple of hours, I guess it's been about seven hours now. I say a couple, but <laughs> it's been almost a day. Uh, but we want to give you an idea of, of how fast it deteriorated and from what it looked like this morning. So we have that tape piece to show you. I got to run over to the airport and, no, not the airport, I got to run over to the hotel and pick up my report, so. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm sleeping. <laughs> take the nice and slow, new step. That's a good idea. How's the drive? It's pretty bad. Very bad, actually. No bus. I think I'm back up. Sorry, we're having some IFB uh, our audio issues out here. Uh, but anyway, that was just a, a quick look at what we uh, saw this morning. We were out at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Um, overnight uh, because that's where uh, they'll put us up for the night and uh, we really did have a, a quite a challenge to get in um, things have really just deteriorated since then even huh Thiel? Amazing how quickly things have changed. Oh yeah, it's not not pretty. Valentine's Day. Haciel and Eve, back over to you. All right, thanks, Thank you, Matt. Matt. All right, it's time to get a look at the conditions in Allentown. That's right. Amanda Cox is at American Parkway and Hamilton Street in Allentown. Amanda, it keeps looking more and more white every time we come to you. I know. I'm starting to match my snowman that's behind me, and it's really, really cold. I also wanted to say to you guys that I think you guys have done a fabulous job today. This is going to be my last shot, and then I'm going to be handing it over to Mark, but I don't really know where he's at. He's kind of like disappeared. If you look, he actually brought me a, um, oh, there he is. He brought me a crown for my snowman. Isn't that lovely? Uh, so cute. That How is thoughtful. Nice. Isn't that sweet? But this is my last one. So I really think that you guys did an awesome job today and it's been a pleasure working with you guys, but I'm going to hand it over to Mark. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, right now. Hey. We're, this is live television, Haciel. <laughs> right now we're going to have it. And uh, I think a big go thanks goes out to Amanda from all of us at 69. She's been here since 11 o'clock last night. Yeah. Is, that, is that correct? Wow. So Love she's been goodness. doing the AccuWeather channel. She's been doing hits here. Building snowmen. And, and you know, <laughs> off camera, let me tell you, she's getting a little bit loopy. So uh, <laughs> yeah. this transition is, is much needed at this point. But I uh, want to give a big thanks out to uh, Amanda. One of the things that uh, we've been noticing here, too, is, is you notice the visibility has been cut down drastically since I got here. I got here around 11 o'clock. Since then, we uh, were able to partially make out Fifth Street. We're standing just on, on the uh, eastern side of uh Hamilton between uh, American Parkway and now you cannot see Fifth Street at all so the visibility has been cut down in a big way since I got here the snowfall rates have been picking up uh, Wendy mentioned a little bit earlier about her brushing off her car going in for a cup of coffee and coming back out and having to do it again that's pretty much what we're seeing here from from everybody it's just that quick kind of change or that quick snowfall uh, building up mm -hmm. as uh, as they go inside and coming back out to uh, maybe grab a cup of coffee over at the Dunkin' Donuts. But we are live here at the corner of Hamilton and, and American Parkway. I'll be with you all afternoon into the evening. So uh, get ready. And we got a. Uh, we got uh, our snowman here. We got some people checking it out. Some some people coming out on foot. So. Uh, certainly would not go out uh, by car if you don't have to this afternoon. Yeah, well, Mark, it does give me hope, I must say, to hear that you made it in around 11. It gives me hope as I try to get out of here yeah. to get home. Well, the thing about it was is that I was watching our coverage. I noticed, Bo, there was nothing going on over there, and I thought, this is my opening. This is my shot to go, mm -hmm. and that's why I took that opportunity since then conditions have deteriorated big time so right now is not the time to go out and it's going to get worse before it gets better as matt was saying earlier uh so i would say hunker down get a nice cup of hot chocolate and watch 69 news and uh we'll be with you we'll be the ones that get cold and wet from the snow you stay inside as much as possible okay. well mark we're, we're glad that you found that window of safety yes. to, to get to your post and even managed to accessorize the snowman very important. Yeah, yeah. We got we got the Burger King hat going. That wow. was part of the transition that happened. That Before was beautiful. he didn't have a hat on, now he's uh, the crowning jewel of oh, Allentown. Was, 
How do you like that? I love I, it. I, I love the way you walked into the shot, too. That was just classic. Yeah, somebody trying to get on television. Yeah. That's right. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay, Mark. Well, we wish right, you guys. wish you luck throughout the afternoon and evening. Thanks, Mark. All righty. All right, let's uh, go to, is it Bucks County? Yes, Bucks County. Mm -hmm. And that's where we find uh, WFMZ's Jocelyn Moe. She's in Lower Milford Township. Oh, hiding oh. behind something. How are you doing, Jocelyn? There is a reason why I am where I am right now. This is a big metal box, a traffic signal box, and this thing is protecting me from the wind. Thank goodness for it. I could give it a hug right now because when I stand out here, this is what happens. I get pelted in the face and it's getting worse by the minute. You can see these flags down there. You can see how the wind is blowing them. Yes, not too comfortable out here to say the least. Let's take a, a walk over this way towards John Freeze Highway. And you can see conditions out here are definitely worsening. If you want to zoom that way, you can show visibility levels decreasing by the minute. We aren't, hi there, how you guys doing? We aren't seeing very many people except for those guys out here uh, right now on the roads. Um, that has definitely, the number of people on the roads has definitely gone down uh, throughout the morning. The people out here now basically drive in SUVs, trucks, and even they are having trouble out here on the road. Some of them are slipping, sliding. So please, if you don't have to be out here, stay home because as you can see, I am proof that this is miserable out here. Absolutely miserable. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Actually, I think I'm gonna go back and crouch behind my box again. Here we go. This is much better. This is a much better place to do a live shot right here. Oh, like, Jocelyn, any shelter or uh, safety that you can find. I'm going to get a look at the roads with Rick Edwards in the traffic center. Hey, all right, Rick. interstates are closed. The 78 uh, has been closed altogether. Now, you know, we got a little jump on the governor with this big tractor trailer crash out in Weisenberg Township. So 78 westbound was actually closed uh, before that order came in. But uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, no travel on 78 and uh, 81, 83 all affected. Uh, we do have a problem in New Jersey with uh, Route 46 through Hackettstown that is closed because of a utility pole down uh, from an earlier accident. Now, right around the neighborhood, 22 is passable, but, uh, you know, any unnecessary travel is ill-advised. So here's the closure I was talking about at 78 and 100, uh, but uh, some vehicles are still getting onto the interstate, and they will be diverted uh, as... Uh, the order has come through to close uh, the interstate highways. Uh, 309, a portion of 309 is closed as well in the northern part of uh, Lehigh County. We'll try to get some uh, sp more specific details on that for you. Uh, also into Berks County, we have uh, a closure on 61 at Cross Keys Road. You know, we had this uh, vehicle fire there. <clears throat> And now a problem with the traffic obstruction north of 222. The roadway is shut down at 61 and Cross Keys Road. Farther to the north, 61 is closed in Schuylkill County between Frackville and St. Clair on the grade. Uh, because of the hazardous road conditions there. We have a disabled tractor trailer on 422 West near Limekiln Road in Amity Township. Now we have scattered reports of uh, scattered uh, disabled vehicles, people spinning out and sliding off the roadway, but no major obstructions on the major highways. Uh, but you have to keep your speed down as you see the few motorists that are out as we flip through our PennDOT cameras are taking it easy. And that's the way you have to approach it if you must get out on the roadways today during this storm. We'll get first-hand information about road conditions from our reporters out in the field. Right now, let's get... The Gus Yatron Postal Facility. And now let's go back outside, speaking of Reading and that area, to Karen Millette in Reading. Yeah. Karen's on hey second guys, and court. It's getting down to the wire. This is uh, the last time you'll see me out here this morning. I can't say I'm awfully upset about that. <laughs> it has been a, a long morning out here. But uh, we do want to give you one last look. At least I would like to give you one last look uh, of what we're seeing here in Reading. You know, Matt just mentioned massive, uh, impressive amounts of snowfall. And uh, it's certainly the case here in the city of Reading. There's really no distinction anymore. This is Court Street between road and sidewalk, um, you know, and we, unfortunately, we're still dealing with the mess that we had from this last storm. So that's piled up on the side. Uh, then you have the road, uh, which hasn't been plowed since about 4.30 this morning um, and still quite covered. It's really, really difficult and challenging to get around the city. The snow emergency uh, is in place, uh, we understand. So they do ask that um, you move all the vehicles off the side of the road. The parking garages, though, are open. So if you can get your car into the parking garage, you don't have to worry about cleaning it off later. Um, they are free until 8 a.m. on Thursday. Those 
parking garages run by the Reading Parking Authority around the city of Reading. So good news for city residents who uh, don't want to leave their cars out on the street um, and who can't now because of the snow emergency. The plows are really going to need um, to do a good job on this uh, later on tonight when uh, hopefully when the snow um, does come to an end and they are able to get out here and, and plow the streets. Uh, coming up later, um, taking over for me, WFMZ's Pam Cunningham is going to continue to give you updates uh, here from downtown Reading. Even Haciel. All right.